Chapter 10 Gigantic The bird continued to fly through the night sky, with L tightly grasped between its talons. No matter how much L wiggled or pounded their fist onto its great big claws with tears streaming from their eyes, it didn't seem to bother it in the slightest. L might as well have been a small field mouse running through a field of grass waiting for a big hawk to come swoop them up for dinner. Anthea, barely able to hang on to L from the strong wind, was able to climb her way up to the bird's leg and remove her sword. She looked down onto L and hopped onto their shoulder. Hang in there, L. I'm going to get us out of this. Anthea looked around to where the giant bird was headed. She wasn't sure of its motives, aside from dinner, but where was it taking them? If she could recall from her studies of the great beasts of the forest, it was probably taking them to their nest at the top of the great forest mountain, which was located at the center of the woods. Although she didn't specialize in the knowledge or taming of creatures, Anthea found it useful to know the creatures and plants within the forest, as it was crucial for her survival when going on trips for the ant witch. This was more convenient than she had originally thought. Sure, the risk of becoming this bird's dinner isn't a situation she would have put herself in to begin with, but the Great Forest Mountain was halfway between Ant Witch's house and where she had originally found Elle. If they stuck it out long enough and escaped the bird before it took them to its nest to become dinner, this could shave over a week's worth of travel off of their trek. This gave Anthea plenty of time to think of a plan. How could they safely escape the bird just before arriving on top of the mountain in its nest and becoming its dinner? She had to think of a way to release Elle from its grasp and quickly jump down, safely of course, to land. All while comforting Elle, Anthea ran through the multitude of items and spells she had in her bag. But which would be the most useful and safe? She thought hard. Thankfully, she had at least an hour's time until the bird reached the mountain, so she didn't have to rush it when... A whistle was heard from the distance and the bird suddenly took a sharp turn and started to dive towards the forest below. But was the nest of this particular species not on the Great Forest Mountain? Unless... Anthea squinted through the darkness of the night. What she saw were lights flickering in a clearing of the woods. From what she could tell through the darkness, it was a small cottage. Had someone tamed this bird? She had never heard of such a large bird being tamed by someone before. Usually creatures of such size are either impossible or near impossible to tame. So who could have done? As they neared the house, it became larger and clearer. In fact, the house kept growing. It became much larger than Anthea thought it could be for how far away they were from it, and yet, it kept growing and growing in size. It was far too late for Anthea to think of an escape plan. They were headed straight for the ground once again, towards what she could only suspect as the owner of the bird, and she prayed that whoever owned that bird would be someone who was kind and hospitable. Perhaps this would turn out to be a great misunderstanding. They sent their hunting bird out for dinner only to return with some travelers, who they would let stay in their cozy cottage for the night and so nicely feed them dinner. Right? Only time would tell as they quickly approached the cottage, which seemed so large, Anthea was becoming worried for their safety. It was too late to escape. She had to prepare to fight for her life. No, their life. Elle included. She was going to get that kid to Ant Witch if it cost her her life. The bird quickly approached the large cottage and landed on the arm of a very large man. In fact, this was no man. This was indeed a gigantic being. A giant, if you will. The giant started to stroke the bird's back. It was clear this was a close pet of his, or at least a trained beast to do their hunting. Anthea scurried into the neck of Elle's shirt and whispered, Stay quiet. If we're lucky, he won't notice us. Elle sniffled and nodded. Even if the giant noticed Elle, he would think they were alone and defenseless. In the meantime, Anthea could start planning an attack, or at least an escape plan to get Elle out of there if things went south. When suddenly... Hmm? What's this? The giant cocked his head and brought it closer to the giant bird's talons, squinting. Ah, so your hunt wasn't for naught. Excellent. And the giant went inside the cottage, slamming the door loudly behind them 